Hello there, my name is Meena Prashant. I am the co-founder of DigitalAccessPass.com, a membership plugin for WordPress. And in this video, I am going to take you behind the scenes to show you how you can troubleshoot PayPal IPN issues. Now, IPN stands for Instant Payment Notification, and PayPal uses IPN to notify third-party systems such as DAP when there is a successful recurring payment. It also uses it for several other events such as cancellation, refund, payment getting suspended, and all of that. And membership plugins such as DAP, they use the IPN to extend user's access to the membership product. So in DAP's case, what happens is when users make a purchase of a recurring subscription product on your site, then initially upon the first payment, DAP sets up a recurring profile for the user in PayPal. And then what happens is going forward, every month or every year, based on whatever is your subscription cycle, PayPal automatically charges the user whatever is the subscription amount, and it uses the IPN to let DAP know that payment was successfully completed. Or if the payment does not go through for whatever reason, PayPal communicates that back to DAP. Now DAP uses a successful payment notification to extend user's access to the product. If no payment comes in, access does not get extended. As a result, users automatically lose access to the product. So sometimes what happens is, even though a payment goes through successfully in PayPal, for some reason, it does not connect to the membership platform. So as a result, access does not get extended and users prematurely lose access even though they made the payment. It does not happen all the time, but sometimes if the payment does not connect to your membership site, what are your options? How can you figure out what happened? And how can you troubleshoot this problem? That's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Yesterday, one of our users contacted us to say that even though he had made a successful payment, his access to product was still showing as expired in DAP. As I was troubleshooting this issue, I thought I might as well show you how I do this because if you run a membership site, you may encounter this problem as well. So if this happens all the time, like none of the payments are connecting, to your membership site from PayPal, it means that there is a setup issue. So that's different. Now, the steps that I'm going to show you now uh, is something that you can use if IPN is connecting for most of your users, but sometimes you have a few users for whom it did not connect with PayPal. So first thing you need to do is go to DAP payments orders page, or you can get to it from here by clicking on orders here. When you land on this page, here you can enter the email of the person who has had this issue. And also, if you enter the email and don't find the order, it's likely because you need to adjust the dates here. By default, it's just set to one day. So you may have to change this uh, to find this user's payment. And you can set a one-year duration. For example, January 20th, 2019 to January 21st, 2020. So almost one year. This way, I'll find all the orders for this user uh, in the last one year. This way, you can find when the payments stopped. So when you find all the orders for this user, one thing you will notice is for PayPal purchases under the recurring ID, you will find a recurring ID number. PayPal calls it as profile ID. And so basically just grab this number, copy this number, and it will help you find uh, the payments for this user in PayPal. Because sometimes what happens is if you just enter the email of the person in PayPal and try to find all the payments, or if you enter first name and last name or, of the user and try to find all the orders for the user, it does not show up in PayPal because it's under the company name or the PayPal email is different than the DAP email. For whatever reason, you may not find orders for the user based on just their name or based on the email. The best way to find all the recurring payments for a user is by using the recurring profile ID. So this is very useful in finding payments for a user. All the recurring payments will have the same recurring ID. So this number will be the same for all the payments uh, for that product by a user. So copy this ID and now you can find all the payments for this user in PayPal. So let's go ahead and find this user in PayPal. So yesterday when one of the users reached out to us and said, even though they made the payment, their access in DAP was not extended, then here's what I did to figure out what happened and why it didn't extend. So first thing I did was I went to DAP payments orders page and I entered the email. Then I selected one year date range to find all the orders for this user in the last one year. So when I hit search, uh, it brought up all the payments by this user in the last one year. I only found three 
So what I noticed was this person had purchased our membership back in December, right? December 2019 and January 2020, we didn't receive any payment or at least any notification of a payment in DAP. So there was nothing in January, which is why in DAP, the access to the product had expired. So what I did was I logged into PayPal, clicked on activity. Then in the search bar, I selected first name, entered the first name of the user and one year date range. And I clicked on search and nothing showed up. No orders for this user in the one year time range. Then I switched to last name, tried to search by last name, still nothing. Tried to search by email and still nothing because the email that users have in PayPal might be completely different than the email they used during checkout. So their membership email might not match their PayPal email. So searching by email didn't help either. And also many times the name that they have on their PayPal account is their business name. And so when you search by first or last name, it's not going to bring up anything. So it becomes really hard to troubleshoot problems since the search is not easy. This is why this profile ID search is really useful when you try to debug issues uh, with the uh, IPN. So select profile ID in the search bar and you can grab the profile ID from DAP. The cool thing about profile ID and we call this recurring ID in DAP is that is going to be the same for all the recurring payments of a specific product by a specific user. So if user makes purchase of say gold membership uh, from your site, all future payments are connected to gold membership by that user, it will all have the same profile ID, same recurring ID. So it's really easy to connect all the payments uh, by the user uh, for a specific product. So the cool thing now is that because you can get the recurring ID of the user from DAP from their latest order, get the profile ID, get the recurring ID, enter that here, and then the search becomes really easy. So there are a couple of ways you can get their profile ID from DAP. Like I mentioned before, you can directly go to payments, orders, enter the email of the user, enter the date range, find all the orders, and then get the recurring ID from there. Or you can go to the DAP members page, members manage page, find the user. So as long as there is an order ID field, you can get to the user's order and get the recurring profile ID from there. So I found the recurring profile ID of the user in DAP, in the DAP orders page. And I have entered this here in PayPal. And now you can see it brings up all the orders for this user. This user's profile, a recurring profile was created on December 14th. That's the day of purchase. And then the next recurring payment did come in on January 13th. So it did go through successfully on January 13th, but it didn't connect with DAP. So I can see that the payment was successful. That's the first step, right? For you to verify that the payment actually did go through in PayPal. So that did happen. So why did it not connect to DAP? That's the next thing that we need to figure out. For that, what you can do is go to, click on this icon and go to account settings. Click on website payments. Here, look for instant payment notification. Click on update. And now towards the top of your instant payment notification, you can see it says you can view your IPNs on the IPN history page. So click on IPN history. So now this is the IPN history page. Now PayPal doesn't make it easy. There are steps that you have to take to even get to this page. I wish they made it easier uh, to get to this page. So this is the only way I know how to get to this page. So here to search for the user, uh, you can enter date range, but it will bring up all the orders. That's not what we are looking for. Uh, we want to find a specific transaction and see uh, what happened to that transaction. So you need a transaction ID number for this. So it's it's pretty easy actually in the same activity the search bar. When you search by profile ID, it brings up all the orders for the user, right? So you find the right order that you're looking for and then click on it. So if you click on the name, it will bring you to the details page where you will find the transaction ID for the latest order that didn't make it. So find the ID of the latest uh, transaction and then go to the IPN history page. Right, so here I have entered the transaction ID. I have selected last 14 days. So remember to change this because by default it's set to just the last uh, 24 hours. So be sure to change this and you can only go back by 20, 28 days max as far as IPN history. So last 14 days this user's payment was on Jan, uh, Jan 13th which is about a week ago. And uh, so when I look for this transaction, I found it. So there was a payment. And so basically what you need to do is to find what happened with the IPN. It does say sent, which means it was sent. So I don't know why it didn't connect. So I don't know that yet. So I'm gonna click on the message ID to find more details. So when you click on the message ID, it's going to bring you uh, to the IPN 
details page. So here it will show you all the details. It will tell you what URL did PayPal send the notification to. Sometimes that might be the problem because maybe it's sending to a different destination than what you are expecting. So check that and maybe your global IPN URL is not correct or maybe some other reason it's not connecting to the right uh, notification URL. So make sure that's correct. And uh, also if it's if your site is running on HTTPS but you have configured HTTP as the URL, that might be a problem too. So be sure to use the right URL for your site. If your site is not running on www, for example, don't use it in the URL. If your site is running on HTTPS, be sure to use it in the URL. So your notification URL has to be based on whatever domain your site is running on and whatever script you need to connect to. In case of DAP, it's always whatever is your domain name slash DAP slash DAP dash PayPal dot PHP. Anyway, so here it says delivery status has sent. So it was sent, but it didn't connect to DAP. So in this case, Typically what happens is uh, the payer email, the PayPal email of the user might have changed, which is why it's not connecting to user's uh, main account that you have in DAP for the user. So it looks like this user changed the email after the first payment in PayPal. So look for payer email in the IPN message. So payer email will tell you uh, what email was used for this payment and then use that email and go back to DAP and search by this email. See if you find an order for under this email. So in this case, what happened was when I looked for uh, this user under this email, yes, there was in fact a payment under this email. So I found this user under this email in the manage members page, but because their original email was different than this one, that's why it didn't connect. That's why the access was not extended. So to fix it, so it doesn't happen again, uh, all you have to do is merge the accounts in DAP. So basically delete the new email that you got from PayPal, delete that account because that's not their DAP, main DAP account, right? That's just their PayPal uh, email. So delete that account from DAP and then copy the email and go back to their main email and edit their profile uh, of the main email that you have in DAP for them and update the PayPal email under the main DAP email. So make sure the PayPal email that user is using is connected to their main DAP email. This way, whether the payment comes in under the main email or under the PayPal email, they will all connect to the same DAP account. All right, I hope all this makes sense. And so these are some of the main issues that causes IPN to not connect. And the main thing I wanted to show you is how to debug this issue. Payment was made, but it didn't connect and you're not sure what IPN URL the notification was sent to and what email was used for the payment. Then you can find all of that information in the PayPal IPN history page, all right? And because it, we have made it really easy in DAP for you to find the recurring ID, the profile ID of the user, so find their recurring ID of any of the orders because it's going to be the same for all the orders by a user for the same product. So find their recurring ID. It's called the profile ID uh, in PayPal. We call it recurring ID in DAP. So grab it from DAP and uh, go to PayPal activity. Find the user by the profile ID. It will show you all the orders for the user. See if there was a payment made and then find the latest order. Find the transaction ID associated with that order. Now go to the IPN history page and you can get to it from the uh, IPN page and profile. Go to IPN and then click on view history and on the IPN history page you can search by the transaction ID, select the right date range and it will show you uh, what happened to the last payment, whether it was sent successfully or whether it failed and if it was sent to what URL it was sent. All right, that's it. I hope this was helpful. If you upgrade to the latest version of DAP, uh, finding and troubleshooting problems like this becomes really easy because you will now find the recurring profile ID in your DAP orders page. This is only going to be available if you are on DAP 7.9 or above. It's not there if you are using an older version of DAP. So just be aware of that. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, please do let me know. You can also join my Facebook group. It's at membershipsitelab.com group. My name is Veena Prashant. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.